It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Buffalo Bills and the Houston Texans. And it comes your way next. Our coverage of the NFL has brought us to Space City and NRG Stadium. Right next to where the old Astrodome sits here in Houston, Texas. I'm joined by a former NFL quarterback up in the booth, Mr. Brock Heward. I'm Kate Scott. And Brock, uh, you can brag if you'd like to because I know you had quite the big arm in your days with the Huskies and the Seahawks in Seattle. Well, we've got a couple of quarterbacks here who also know how to push that football down the field. Yeah, you got a couple QBs who are going to keep these defenses honest today because the moment they get greedy in coverage or get too aggressive in the pocket, Either of these quarterbacks can drop a dime, drop a deep throw right over him for big yardage, and maybe six points, too. Kaimi Fairbairn ready to get this one going. And away we go from NRG Stadium. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. And it was another MVP caliber season for Josh. A season to go double-digit wins, huge numbers. This guy just produces and has each and every year. And what I love... And I know his organization loves was him breaking that NFL quarterback record with 15 rushing touchdowns. All right, let's get this show on the road. It is first and ten. First play is to the air. Cox on the left side. And he'll go down and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end, finishing it, doing his job. In a good spot here, second and inches. From the 39. He's got it, room to run. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. First and 10. Ball set up at the 48. Throwing now from the gun. Connection made to Coleman. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Second and six coming up here. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. They're set up at the 35 now. They'll run here on first down. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Again, it's Cook. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Only a couple yards there, and now it's third and seven. You know, kid, I like to call these body blows. Body blows. You've got to be committed to running the football. Even if it doesn't move the chains, I guarantee you that wear and tear will pay dividends later. 
They'll throw on third and long. That's caught for the first. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. All right, set now, first and ten. Shy the end zone. They mark him at the four. It's a real solid pickup. 12 yards, and it rewards him with a first and goal. That was the perfect play call for that particular situation. Gave him enough to pick up a first with some room to spare. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Allen to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills finish up an excellent opening series. Well, you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that. The offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six. These opening drives, Kate, are such tone setters. It is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays, right? Everybody knows what's coming. Allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm, but even better when you're that sharp, that crisp, and you finish off and get the early lead. Tyler Bass on now for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Bass now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. So here come the Texans for their opening drive. And leading them out is someone who became an absolute superstar last year as a rookie. Drafted second in 2023, it's C.J. Stroud. C.J. may not have been the number one pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, but he was clearly the number one rookie in all of the NFL last year. Near unanimous rookie of the year. In fact, even earning MVP votes, Kate, it wasn't just a little bit of a rebound and a rebuild for Houston. It was a remake in a hurry. And what can he do in his sophomore season? It will be must-see TV. On first down, they'll run. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. The humble five- to six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's Stroud. Oh, check this one down. Complete to the fullback. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. I got to be honest with you, Kate. That's an occasion where a drop would have been a whole lot better than a completion. Couldn't find the way back to the line, and it's a rare pass that actually loses yardage. And the Bills bringing out an extra defensive back. Third down coming up. Looking to throw. Stroud. He put some juice on a deep throw down the middle. Almost an opening drive interception, but that winds up on the ground incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. Texans going to kick this away on fourth, and it's Tommy Townsend on for the punt. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field.
All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Cut by the open man. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. New set of downs for him at the 38. Now they'll throw out of the gun. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open and beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing here, Allen. That's complete to Valdez Scantling. And he's brought down at about that 27-yard line. It's a pickup of 11. And that's good for a Bills first down. Gosh, I really like this receiver on that drag route in particular. Why? Because he's a guy that creates after the catch. They don't close quickly. He could take it to the house. Back to throw now, Allen. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. They're going to throw it on third and long. Brought in close to the eight. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills grow their early lead to 13. So brought this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now we'll see the Houston offense for their second drive of the contest. And they haven't gotten very far into their opening script yet, have they? Just a three and out to begin this game. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Now it's Stroud. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And he's short of the first after a mild game. I call this quarterback's best friend. 
Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Back to throw. Stroud escapes the pocket. And this one does not go far. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock. You know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it, able to make something out of nothing and at least keep them moving forward. All plays on the table here for third and three. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They pick up 20 yards there. And it sets up a Houston first. Those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, Kate. They don't always get the attention they deserve on a broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. First and 10, ball set up at the 48. Here's Stroud now. That's complete. Here's Brown. And they get there to take him down right around the 41. So before they get the snap away, we reach the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. We'll make our return to NRG Stadium after this. Welcome back. We'll begin the second quarter with the Texans in possession. They start out with a second and three. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They send a tight end in motion. They'll try and punch it in. And he'll get this across. Touchdown, Houston. The Texans make it a one-score game in the first half. It's a Joe Mixon touchdown. They kept it on the ground as opposed to airing it out. And that time, well, brought the ground game paid off. Well, these great rushing attacks down here that could score rushing touchdowns, it takes the whole party getting involved. Yeah, the burst of the running back was tremendous. How about the launch of his blockers right off the line of scrimmage? That's a touchdown the entire way, and it took the entire group offensively. That one splits the uprights, and they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They're out and set. First and ten. 
They're going play action. Flushed out of the pocket. He takes it himself. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Call it a gain of two, and now it's going to be third down and one. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. Here's the give on third and short. And that short gain is enough for a new set of downs. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Throwing off the play fake here. He finds the open man there, complete. And they bring him down around the 34. A gain of 27 yards there. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept Sometimes a dozen times a game. And a lot of times it's for shorter yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And this one won't be caught, but we got a flag here. Looked like there may have been some early contact before that throw arrived. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. First and ten for him now, following the penalty. Throwing now, off play action. Reeled in at the seven. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills take a 13-point lead. That is a touchdown to one of their prime receiving targets. This is really what you pay your skill guys for. You know, I had an old coordinator say, it's my job to get you a one-on-one. -on -one. It's your job to go out and win it and win it with a touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. Now we get a look at this Texans offense. They got the job done there last time out. Still trailing by a lot, though, so they're going to need a repeat of that touchdown here. They've got first down from the 31. Shroud. Quick hitter complete. 
And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. They'll head up first and ten from the 42. Throwing his Stroud. Open receiver caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he could do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. They're set up at the 35 now. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. To the air, Stroud. He's on the move. He tucks it and takes off. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Staying between the tackles with Mixon. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. It's second and goal. Changing things up. They're going to throw now. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans make it a one-score game in the first half. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now, to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. Amazing when it all comes together. Fairbairn now for the PAT. Splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Return coming from the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Allen setting up to throw. Cook calls it in. 
And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. The rookie from Georgia in on that tackle. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. Second and four. On target to Valdez Scantling. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. Give him eight yards on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Cook trying this one up the gut. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. We've hit the two-minute warning now at NRG. And it's the Bills with a second and seven. From the 43, he'll get this to Samuel. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. They're set up at the 35 now. Here's Allen. Here's a throw on the out route, complete. And he's going to be brought down at the 23-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. They have themselves another first and 10. Back to throw now, Allen. Cut at the 10-yard line. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Oh, that is, oh, that is such a bummer. A dropped touchdown right in the end zone. We're going to see how quickly he can flush this one. He better, because they got to make an impact later. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Off the play fake, he's going to throw. Got it. A flag's down as he stops. Looks like this one's on the offense. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Backed up just a bench. Here's another second and goal. Allen to throw. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Docks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Here he is on third and long. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. The Bills grow their lead just before halftime. Well, they definitely wanted to get that one out quick, Brock. They did just that, and it ends in six. We hear it all the time, but it is so true, Kate. This is a game about matchups, and when you see a throw that quick, it really was determined pre-snap. It was great design and tremendous execution. Bass on for the extra point. Oh 
That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Bass now to kick this away. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Texans going on offense now just before halftime. They could use something to trim that deficit and enough time left to maybe get this near field goal range. Just over 30 seconds left in the half as they come to the line. Throwing from the gun. Got a man, coverage lost and complete. And he's gonna get stopped right around the 45 yard line. Timeout coming from the Texans, that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Back to throw, Stroud. Can't handle the hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. This one intended for the running back. And now it's second down. That just goes to show you can't take any completion for granted, even on some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Throwing from the gun here. That's complete. Here's Brown. And out of bounds right at the 40-yard line. So now here's third and five. Looking to throw. Stroud. That's caught for the first. Taken down a yard shy of the 25. Houston calls it second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They'll come up first and ten. They'll throw it again. Completed to Collins. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Final timeout called by the Texans. And that's all they've got for what little remains of this half. Now it's Kaimi Fairbairn on to try it for the Texans. It's a 33-yard look from the right half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. Well, nothing to critique there. Good snap, good hold, and he puts it through to pay off the drive with three points. Time left for maybe a return plus a play here as they send this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They've got first and 10, Brock, but time for maybe two plays at most if they even want to try anything. They'll turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he has enough room to gain about four. 
So we've reached halftime with the visiting Bills leading. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, what you got for us? All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw a couple of high-octane offenses getting it done in the first half. Both teams had no problems moving the football. And you have to think, the team whose defense shows up in the second half is going to be the one who walks out of here with a victory. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Bass now to kick this away. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, Brock, an exciting touchback as the return comes out to the 30. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that. First and 10 now from the 30. Running with Mixon out of the gun. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Solid four-yard gain there, and now they've got second and six coming up. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. From the 34. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. He manages a gain of eight there. And the Texans are going to have a first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Here's Stroud. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. He can't hang on to the pass. And now they face second down. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. They'll run now on second down. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Throw on third down. And he goes down. The Bills got to him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. This is one of those situations where QB strength and ability to run can be a great blessing, but can also be a curse. We've seen him use his feet before. This guy can escape, and that's a blessing. But it can be a curse because sometimes you think you can get out of everything. And this defense just proved he couldn't. The Texans set to punt. And this is the second time he's been brought on to kick it. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And the Bills will take over deep in their own territory. And the drive will start out with a first and ten.
Now he'll throw off the play fake. Caught on the left side. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And they're going to stop him after he wiggles his way forward for two. These are the kind of runs, Kate, that just soften up a defense. Keep working on them. Keep working on them. And eventually, you're going to break one of those counters for even bigger yardage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Another one for Cook. And he's tackled for no gain. No gain on that one, and now it's third and eight. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. And the Texans go in nickel coverage, third down. Throwing here, Allen. Complete beyond the marker. And he got this close to midfield before going out. They get 13 on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Out of the option, he's going to keep it going right. And he drives this across midfield and down into enemy territory. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. I can promise you, that's not what it looked like on the practice field, nor on the whiteboard. Typically, QB run is going to net you a whole lot more yardage than that. But let's give some credit. Strong effort by that defensive front who contained a play that typically goes for a whole lot more. Second and eight. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's good for a Bills first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Play action on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. They've run this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is a differentiator. Can you make that deep out throw on time, on rhythm, and accurately? Well, that was teaching tape right there. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. From the red zone now. And oh, he got it! Interception! Picked off by Jalen Petrie. Well, that's it right there. That's the resilience and the mental toughness that every coach wants to see from his defense. Not a great spot for him. Backed up close enough that they're going to get shots taken in the end zone. But instead of collapsing under pressure, they rose up and they created the takeaway. The Texans and running back Joe Mixon headed out for their next series. Well, their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to punt it away. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. A give to Mixon up the middle. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. 
Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Shroud. Cut by Diggs. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Third down, one yard to go. Pass taken in by Diggs. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down, and nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Got a man open, complete. And they make the stop, we're going to say it about the 37-yard line. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it sets up a Houston first. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Short side option here, he's running left. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Give him four that time, so six to go on second down. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was gonna get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. The give here on second. And without much room, he's going to go down at the 32-yard line. They pick up one on the run. Need more, though. That takes him to third and five. To the air, Stroud. Pass caught by Nixon. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Throwing his round. That one falls incomplete. Couldn't make the connection deep downfield. That throw doesn't lead to six. And it's going to be second down. Defensive coaches in the NFL say it all the time. Limit the big play. Keep these guys in front of you. Well, this defense is going to have to stay vigilant because this receiver, he could take the lid off a of defense at any time. Escapes the pocket. He's running with it. And he's brought down after a short game. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. The Texans have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Now a give to Mixon. And he manages to reach the 19 before he stopped. Two yards on that run. That's going to bring up fourth and six. Now it's Kaimi Fairbairn on to try it for the Texans. He hit his first one. His second one's coming from inside of 40. 
And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that brings the deficit back within a score. Eight points. His make there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. All right, that lead cut down to eight after that score, and the kick is away. Return coming from the six. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. And last drive, he reached one of those numbers that everyone looks at as a benchmark after the season ends, Brock. Quite the year that he's put together finding the end zone. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Looking to throw here and shake off that previous INT. He goes back to him yet again, complete. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Allen setting up to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And the tackle's made just beyond midfield at the 48. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Allen connects with Cook, and he's taken down at the 30. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Kate, I can promise you, you go back and look at the most efficient offenses in the NFL over the last couple decades, one thing will resonate. You've got to be able to attack the middle of the field. It's great to do it with receivers. It's awesome with tight ends. But when you get that influence from your running backs, man, you become a dangerous offense to stop. First and 10 now from the 30. Now the shotgun give to Cook. Dukes at a one stop. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. They had the first down by a comfortable margin right there. Remember that play call. Put that one away. Could be a money play for them the next time they're in a similar spot. Offense set for a first and ten. Again, it's Cook. progress on first down and that'll bring up second and ten these linebackers of today they are so quick they're so twitchy you don't get a body on them in a hurry they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage second and ten need to get some positive yardage here slot receiver headed left back to throw now allen he had it for a moment but a great defensive play to jar it loose incomplete Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. They're going play action. Bails out of the pocket quick. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. You're just not going to win many games in this league when you can't generate a pass rush until the fourth quarter. You needed to feel the impact from this defense earlier and more often in this game. The lack thereof was a big part of what put them playing from behind in the final stanza of this one. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. 
It's from the left hash, 33 yards. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's now a two-possession game as the lead grows to 11. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Bass now to kick this away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. That 100-yard mark, it's as coveted by receivers as it is by running backs. And he's now reached it with that last catch. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Has his man. It's Mixon. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. He's on the move. Now here he goes. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Offense in the hurry up here. Now it's Stroud. Buys time, rolling right. He calls his own number again. They get 27 on the play. And the Texans are going to have a first down. Obviously, a defense wants to take away all the reads and prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. Working quickly here. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Big catch is made, and he got the feet in, too. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. And without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page, because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. Here's Stroud. Digs there to bring it in. And he's going to be taken down near the 8-yard line. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine, because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in-cut and make the catch. Escapes the pocket. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans pick it off and get points on the ensuing drive. C.J. Stroud, the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down. Didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, Brock, the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind. But you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down. And when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group of confidence. Ooh, and he can't shake the defense. They track him down in the backfield, and this two-point attempt fails. Defense did their homework on that one. They were keyed in from the start. They knew exactly who the offense was going to lean on to try to go for two there.
So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. They're out and set. First and ten. Allen to throw. An alert play defensively there. He got a hand on it to tip it away. That makes it second down. I'm just going to say maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Allen looking to throw. Cook calls it in. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on the defense. We've hit the two-minute warning here in Buffalo. Bills leading by five. Battle coming up on third and inches. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Timeout coming from the Texans. That's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. First down now. Ball at the 39-yard line. Davis takes it straight ahead. And he's stopped after running it up across the 45 to the 46. Houston calls it second timeout. And they'll have just one left to burn now. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Here's a give up the middle. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Final timeout called by the Texans. That's all they had. So the offense free to start running the clock down now. All plays on the table here for third and three. They give it to him again. And not much doing. He stopped quickly. Call it one yard there. Tough sledding the last couple of runs. It's fourth and two. The Bills with a punt team out there. And this is the first time he's been called on today. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. It's scored as a 51-yard punt. And that is where they'll start the next drive. And you may as well call him a constant headache that this defense has had to deal with all game long. I mean, they game plan to slow down his passing work, but it's been his rushes that have really broken the spirit of this unit. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here he is to throw. They left him wide open. It's complete. And he crosses the sideline a yard or two beyond that 30. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. 
The time is there, but the timeouts are not. It got to be smart. It's first and ten. Throwing now. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. He makes the catch. And he will score. It's a Houston touchdown. The Texans take the lead right at the end. It's a Stephon Diggs touchdown. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. This is the time of the game where your legs just get a little bit tired. But that was a determined-looking drive right there. They were not going to be denied, and they're able to score and take the lead. Texans facing a big play as they go for two. Here he is to throw. And it falls incomplete. Can't make that pass work. So as a result, they will not be able to push their new lead to a field goal. That is tremendous defense. First and foremost, you've got to defend against the run on this short of a field. To do that and adapt in time to force an incompletion, boy, that is a huge win for the defense. Baron has it all set up for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. drive will start out with a first and ten. Now to throw. Try and push it deep downfield. He's got it inside the 25. The Bills are going to go ahead and call their first time out. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Two timeouts remaining and some time left to use them. It's first and ten. This is Cook. And they bring him to a stop with this run. Gets him into the red zone down to the 15. Buffalo calls it second time out of the half. Still one more in their pocket to use. Second and three now. Back to the well again. And they'll get there and stop him at the line. Nothing gained or lost on that run. And now it's third and three. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Now the offense going to take its third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. And after four quarters of battle, it comes down to their kicker. From the same spot as an extra point here, 32 yards. I know that was a kick he could make in his sleep, but with the game on the line, he delivered. Bass 
chance now to kick this away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. To throw. The Bills getting close, and they take it down. So the Bills fight their way to a win on the road. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for Brock Eward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.